Hi, Modern Fashion Designers. Welcome back to class. This is Modern Woman April. I want to especially thank all my returning subscribers. And if this is your first time here, you're highly welcome. Please join us by hitting on the subscribe button, turn on your notification bell, so as to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you. So, guys, in today's class, I'm going to quickly show you a very short and easy way of draping your cob. And if you want to see how this cup was made from scratch, I have the tutorial right on this channel. Check on the comment section, you'll find the link to the tutorial. So without wasting much of your time, let's just go right into the tutorial of the day. So guys, first thing you have to do is to bring out the cup that you want to drape on. Note that for this kind of draping, you need a very light fabric. And another thing you have to note is that while purchasing your fabric, make sure it stretches, even if it's just on one side but make sure it has a little bit of stretch and this way it's going to ease your work now when you drape the way you position your pin matters a lot so you can see that my pin is placed horizontally not vertically the aim of this is because i'm not going to remove this pin while i stitch as i'm stitching this pin will be here to secure this white fabric so to pin as you are draping please make sure you place your pin on the horizontal way like this so that your machine your needle can climb it please don't place it on the vertical form like this because by the time you are sewing you still need to pull this pin in order for your machine in order for your needle to pass so please always pin this way horizontally and not vertically i hope you understand now to achieve this what i'm going to do is to place this so you can see how this is I'm going to make sure that this pointy edge here, this pointy edge here, is facing towards this pointy edge here. And what I'm going to do now is to secure at least four parts of it with my pin. Now, secure your pins on four equal parts, making sure that the dart that is folding, see this fold here, you are sharing it between those equal, between those four halves. So I place my pin on four parts here. So you can see what I have here. You can see that I've shared all the dots equally. And when you pin, I notice that one of the dots is bigger than the other. You can shift your fabric a bit. To make sure that the dart is shared equally i hope you understand now the next thing you have to do is to also pin between on the half of the so in the middle of these pins you have to pin making sure that you also share the dart between the two parts so i'm going to share this dart between these two parts here and also pin it down this way so share these two between this and pin to so make sure you are sharing the dots equally now that I've, I'm having like 8 pins here so what I'm also going to do is to pin here so you can see now that automatically this very one has disappeared so i'll pin then i'll start sharing the dots so making sure that my pin is at least half inch closer to the other so you can see what i have here so this part is already smooth so you need as more pins as you can get so you see here begin to share it the middle first and then here and here so here you share so you can see what I have here now you come to this one here you share the dots So you can see that what I'm having here is bigger than what I'm having here. So I'm going to remove this pin and shift more of the dots on this very part. 
and here now I'll flatten it I'm sharing all the dots equally so here I'll just bend here you can see that the dot there has disappeared So you can see here, you can see this very part. I'm having more that here than this. So what I'm going to do now is to remove this and make sure I shift part of this fabric to this very part here. And I'll pin. You can see what I have here. And I also shift this very one to give more that to this place. So you see what I have here now. I'll continue with what I'm doing. So just continue repeating the process, making sure that all the fabric or that are shared equally. Please, you need all the pins you can get because to achieve this, you have to make sure that your pins are placed cl very close to each other. So you see, this part is already smooth. So I'll also share here. So I'll just keep pushing the that, sharing the that equally as I pin. I'll share the dart and pin the middle. So then I'll drag this way. So guys, after you are done draping, you can see how the cup is. The next thing is just trim out. I'm sorry, my camera did not capture that trim out the excess lace fabric then take this to your sewing machine turn it to the wrong side this way so you are sewing from the inside so you sew please do not remove your pin that is why you have to place your pin on the horizontal form so that your machine can be able your needle can be able to climb it so you are going to still leave your pin on the fabric and stitch so after stitching, you remove your pins and then trim out this excess lace fabric so that your work can be like this. So you can see what I have here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see in my next tutorial. I'm a modern woman. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.